We are counting down to tomorrow night's big fight. Ricky Hatton against Juan Lascano. Johnny Nelson will be part of our team at the City of Manchester Stadium. Well, it's a night that will feature five title fights in all, including New York's flash, brash Paulie Malinaji defending his IBF light welterweight crown. But as Ian Dark explains, the substance behind the Magic Man's style. There's more to Paulie Malinaji than fast talking and a flashy ring persona. He proved against the exceptional Miguel Cotto that he has a heart to rival the biggest in boxing. I fought on a very big stage when I fought Miguel Cotto. Um, it was my first experience in front of that, that type of, of, of crowd, that type of arena. People said, oh, once this kid gets hit, he's going to go down and he's not going to get up anymore. You see my face popped out to here and I'm still fighting. And they say, wow, this kid has a lot of heart. The shame of it is that I, maybe I could have fought my fight a little better than, than I did and instead I fought his fight more. Malignaggi was a near novice in deep when he met Cotto, but he did well and wants a return. Paulie Malignaggi's willing to go in the trenches. Paulie Malignaggi's been to hell. I was in hell when I fought Miguel Cotto. I like to, if you fight Miguel Cotto in the garden the day before the Puerto Rican parade, it's like fighting the devil in hell. I've been to hell, so I have no problem going back. I survived it. But the job here is to beat Lovermore Endo in a world title rematch. There's a saying, styles make fights, okay? Lovermore Endo and Paulie Malignaggi, the style's all wrong for Lovemore and Do, but yet he's so stupid and so hard-headed that he wanted Paulie Malignaggi again. So you know what? Be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Malignaggi already holds a win over the tough South African, and there's been bad blood in the build-up. When you have a guy like that who is such a sore loser and refuses to give credit to the guy who dominated him, you know, sinking every punch into his mouth, you know, basically feeling my knuckle digging into his face is, is a good feeling. Because you, you want to teach him a lesson, you want to dominate him, and he's not going to get dominated, he's going to get embarrassed, I'm going to put him through hell. It's a fight the brash New Yorker hopes will whet the appetite for an eventual showdown with Ricky Hatton in Manhattan's famous boxing venue. Madison Square Garden is the mecca of boxing. We've had boxing in Madison Square Garden for since the turn of the 19th of uh, 20th century, you know, going into the early 1900s. So, you know, um, Ricky can put his name in history as having had one of the major fights in the garden, but Paulie Malignaggi is going to come out on top. This Italian-American feels it will be too much for Hatton in the autumn. Come and get it, Ricky. I'm a world-class champion. I'm a world champion with fast hands and fast feet. And you see guys that have had fast hands and have fast feet, what they've done to him. They've given Ricky Hatton a lot of problems. So I, I have the blueprint to beat Ricky Hatton. His box office, not sure about the hat, though. Uh, as we've just heard, though, Polly Malignaggi's hardest night came against the brilliant Miguel Cotto. The New Yorker had to show heart, character and courage in the toughest of battles. Pauli Malinaji in his first ever world championship fight. Slick, flashy, cocky, but untested. Is there a bit of damage? Blood there is it. by Malinaji's left eye. Yeah. He dabs away at the blood that's given us some early drama here at the garden tonight. And look at Malinaji here. Well, what we have to think here, if Malinaji can get some rounds into the bank... Oh, oh it's punch. going to be the counter shot. Lovely left-hand counter from Cotto after he's taken the jab, and Malinaji is down. He doesn't look badly dazed. He got straight back up, but it's a mandatory eight. A visit to the canvas for the cocky one. He's making Cotto fight at a pace that he doesn't usually fight at. He's usually the patient stalker, a quiet assassin, isn't he, Cotto? Just going about his business. But Malinage wants to rev this up. It's not exactly hit and run tactics that Malinage is trying, though. He's quite prepared to stay on the inside. And that's good work again. Fast combinations. Slick, flashy, good to watch. These are really quick punches he's getting off here. Cotto struggling with the, the speed and the movement of Malinaggi. Left hook got in just round the side of the glove of Malinaggi, who's taking the power and living with that, though. On the scorecards, Malinaggi is right in the fight. No doubt about that. We think so anyway. But what happens from here on in? Wonderful one oh, he rocked him a bit with one of those. The legs went a little bit when one of those landed. Light puncher or not, Malinaji. There was about a five-punch combination, and the right hand, just for a moment, seemed to move Cotto. Oh, there's another left hook from Cotto. Probably landing the heavier shots, the ones that maybe the judges will score and notice. That cheek is pretty swollen, that right cheek of... 
Malinaji now. It's a little grotesque now. I've got it all hinging on this last round. Still concentrating, Malinaji. This has been a mountainous performance from him, no matter how it's scored by the judges. The winner and still champion, Miguel Cuoco. Malinaji showed that night that he doesn't mind going to the brink, does he? He's fast, he's frustrating, he's not the biggest punch, he's only stopped five of his opponents. And you could see how Cotto was getting frustrated, he wasn't hurt, but he just couldn't nail Malinaji and it just made it hard for him. Uh, and he gave him all the trouble in the world he wanted. Is there a danger that he could be looking towards the Hatton fight and not concentrating on the, the task in hand we've tomorrow? It, we've seen it done before with many, many fighters. Uh, I think he wants to... Uh, this show to be all about him so he will try and show off he will try and take over the show tomorrow night in Manchester uh, but in, in his opponent though he needs to be careful because this guy can punch he know he's boxed him already before so therefore he knows what to expect he may have changed his game plan we saw him fight Junior Witter what did you make of him that night tough rough uh, uh, he, he's he, aggressive and uh, with all the respect in the world he's ignorant because he'll try and walk an, an opponent down and he will not give up uh, which was awkward for him, punches from all different angles, but still kept slinging the punches in, hit with a nice right hand, staggered him a little bit. Uh, which is a class fighter, so he had to box out of his skin, and I think that was probably one of his best performances against him, because he was a tough, tough guy. And though he's vastly experienced as well. Experienced, this will be his 57th fight. Uh, he's knocked out 31 of his opponents, he's won 46 of them. So therefore, this kid, he, he knows his way around the ring, he will not give up, and to give him a second chance, uh, I know he may have been in the contract, but to give him a second chance, I think it's a silly move. I wouldn't have done it because once you've got someone who wants, you know exactly what to expect. And he would love nothing more than putting a spanner in the works and ruining a potential Malinaji Hatton fight. It's about a big box. He's thinking, well, if I beat him, I'll be boxing uh, uh, Hatton next. He, that you have these illusions when you're a fighter. So he, uh, this guy, he's, he's got a plan to try and tip over the apple cart. Well, is an autumn fight between Malinaji and Hatton likely to happen? Adam Smith is with a man who might just be able to tell us more. Well, the flash, brash, flamboyant Paulie Malinaji has been causing quite a stir up here. Frank Maloney, you've worked with so many boxing characters through the years. Is he the pick of the bunch for you? Oh, the magic man. He's the best. I mean, the nickname is perfect. He walks in a room. He's got charisma. He just sells himself. He sells the show, you know. I think he thinks the 55,000 people have bought tickets to see him. And, you know, and that hair of his is unbelievable. He never stops talking. He's a promoter's dream, isn't he? Oh, definitely. I mean, whoever, you know, whoever works with him, you're a lucky guy. I would love to work with him. You know, and talk, you know, I, when he walked in the room, I thought, oh, it's a midget Lennox Lewis coming in the room with that hair. Then I realised it was extensions, so I got the name of the barber. And you know what? You're going to see me looking like that. Now. If, if I can... Um, calls that sort of magic and talk like that with hair like that that's going to be me yeah he can talk the talk but he can walk the walk to the world like welterweight champion and he's out to impress isn't he on saturday night because he wants the ricky hatton fight yeah he knows he's chief support which he doesn't accept when i told him i said oh nice to, you know pleased to meet you you know you're the chief support to the main fight he went i'm no chief support he said i'm no support act i'm the governor he said i'm here to show this crowd I'm the man that will not only beat Ricky Hatton, will end his career. A lot riding on this, though. Both Hatton and Malinaji have got to win before any showdown talks. Yeah, I mean, they're already talking about the fight going to Madison Square Garden. You know, me personally, I would hope that I could talk to Hatton in coming back to England to fight, but, you know, who knows? But first of all, they've both got to win their fights. But, you know, the Magic Man wants Hatton bad. I mean, I think he dreams about Hatton at night, you know, and um, it's just a fight that... Um, sort of blends to boxing, doesn't it? You've got the style of Hatton against the slick, sophisticated style of um, the Italian-American, the uh, Pastafarian, you know, whatever you want to call him. But um, it's a promoter's, that fight is a promoter's dream. But both with jobs to do first on Saturday night. Whatever you want to call it. Well, uh, can undo ruin Paulie Malinaji's dreams of a super fight with Ricky Hatton. The IBF, like welterweight title fight, is chief support to our main event. <laughs>